the ship the came out of hyperspace just a little too close to the alien sun and dumped its septic tank into the corona. This caused a solar flare, which turned the aliens, their ship, and their shit into high-energy plasma streaming out into the solar system. 99% of the plasma streamed harmlessly into deep space. The remaining 1% headed in the direction of the blue-slash-green planet that was third out from the sun. Of that 1%, 99.9% was deflected away by the planet's ozone layer, thus causing no harm. That still left a dangerous stream of charged particles heading toward the Earth, one of which fried the brains of, and thus killed a high-flying hawk. Another particle went into the ocean and mutated the genes of a great white shark, this will eventually create a mutant species of ravenous land predator, that, however is another story. Meanwhile, in San Francisco a young civil servant is waiting for a BART train. He winces, thinking that the sun has flared for a second, but he then convinces himself that he imagined the whole thing. Unfortunately, he was wrong, the plasma stream, aliens, ship and shit, entered his brain, damaging the motor nerves. This caused him to spasm and fall in front of the approaching BART train. The only question at this time was splat or fry. Meanwhile, the hawk mentioned earlier reached terminal velocity and subsequently burst into flames, it then collided with a single engine Cessna plane, this caused the pilot to have a stroke, this, in turn, caused the pilot to shit, piss and puke all over himself, it was really quite disgusting. However, I digress as this is not a major plot element. Fortunately, the plane crashed into San Francisco, killing and maiming several dozen people, it also cut the power to the BART tracks just as the civil servant was about. 1. To become fried jello, TM, on the tracks. The long-term consequences of the civil servant's survival are really quite unfortunate because some of the alien DNA strands actually survived their journey and are now attempting to reproduce themselves in the civil servant's brain. He will become an alien from the inside out. Now the discussion must shift to the nature of the aliens who caused this whole mess to begin with. The race calls itself the Leteb, they are a vile, stupid, ugly, fat obnoxious race. They reproduce themselves by overeating until they split in half. Similar to the restaurant scene in, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, they used to be humanoid but have severely mutated due to the deteriorating conditions on their home world. Their planet is called Ladrin Lowe's, its only redeeming feature is that it is so small, therefore limiting the number of Ladibs that it may produce. Computer probes show that. Ladrin Lowe's is so polluted that the oceans smell of open sewers and the land masses. Resemble dried pus. It is said that any human who gazed upon the bare contours of Ladrin Lowe's with his bare eyes would be driven quite mad. The vilest creature on Ladrin Lowe's is its ruler, Queen Kostronasis. She has a problem reproducing, no matter how much she eats, she does not split in half, and she just gets fatter and fatter. She is now so fat that she cannot move her fat legs without chafing them raw against each other. They have no products similar to Vaseline, TM, on Ladrin Lowe's. Meanwhile, Back in San Francisco, our civil servant appears to have fully recovered from his near-death experience, he was walking down the street that very afternoon when he saw a sign which said, Sizzler, TM, all you can eat shrimp. He, too, suddenly felt an uncontrollable hunger, he went in and began to devour shrimp left and right, he was there for 10 hours eating non-stop, his clothing began to split at the seams, Many of the customers became quite upset, some complained about how disgusting the scene was, some vomited, some left. The manager approached the rapidly mutating civil servant in an attempt to restore order, he stated, Sir, you are quite vile, please leave. The civil servant said, No, this is all you can eat, he then proceeded to eat the manager from the face down. This caused not a little excitement among the assembled diners, some screamed, some ran and some demanded refunds, a grotesquely fat couple at a corner table began pounding their silverware on the table's surface stubbornly demanding more shrimp. The civil servant then staggered out of the restaurant, he appeared to be splitting in half. He stumbled along Fisherman's Wharf, bloating and splitting, he began to resemble the vile queen Kostronasis. Suddenly, there appeared creatures who resembled sharks but who could walk on land, look, we found a nice juicy leteb, the leader said. They then ate the civil servant and thus the earth was saved from the vile inhabitants of Ladrin Los. The End 3